From war to peace, the Nobel Peace Prize was awarded today to three advocates for women's rights. Tarakul Karman, a leader of anti-government protests in Yemen, is the first Arab woman to win the prize. Liberian President Ellen Johnson Sirleaf is Africa's first freely elected female head of state. And the other Peace Prize winner is also from Liberia and was here in New York today. So we asked Michelle Miller to introduce us. Finally, 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 we are in the limelight. When men failed to end 14 years of civil war in Liberia, Lema Bowie rallied the women of her nation to stop it. Why do you think you were able to accomplish what politicians and generals and warlords were not? We succeeded because, and this is the lesson for the rest of the world, there is nowhere in this world where someone gives you a slap and you slap them back and expect that it's settled. Violence have never settled peace. I tell people I was 17 when the war started. The first time I saw a dead body, I freaked out. By 31, I crossed over a dead body without thinking twice. That's not a normal life. Her activism is the focus of a critically acclaimed documentary, Pray the Devil, Back to Hell. She began with counseling child soldiers who fought in Liberia's civil war. Later, she led a campaign against rape, uniting Muslim and Christian women in sit-ins and daily marches. The pains of a Muslim woman was no different from the pains of a Christian woman. When that message finally sunk, there was no turning back. They dressed in white to symbolize peace. Why did you think this strategy would work? We didn't think about success. We were just determined to be out there for as long as it took. If your society is upside down, you turn it up right. And soon developed a strategy to wage sex strikes to get their husbands on board. We felt they were too quiet and they were allowing these evil men to walk all over them. She's now working to spread her message of empowerment to women in other nations torn by war. Michelle Miller, CBS News, New York.